In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this model of some DNA. Change the view from perspective to orthographic. Change the view to the front view. Click the Object Properties button and drag to make the Properties window wider. Set the X scale to 0.1, the Y scale to 0.1, and the Z scale to 0.5 and zoom in with the mouse wheel. I'm going to give the cube a meaningful name. This will form the backbone that the DNA code is attached to. Duplicate the cube, hold down shift, press D and enter. In the X location, click the triangle to nudge the duplicate forward. Move it forward till there's a gap and then back to close the gap. Set the Y scale to 0 0.03, the Z scale to 0 0.03 and rename the duplicate Bond. Pan, Shift and Middle Mouse button. Duplicate, hold down Shift, press D and Enter. Set the X location of the duplicate to 0.5. Set the X scale to 0.2. The Y scale to 0.2 and the Z scale to 0.1 and enter. The cube represents a base, one of the base pair. I'm going to name it base small. Select the bond and duplicate it, shift D and enter. Set the X location of the duplicate to 0.9. Set the X scale to 0.2 and rename it H bond for hydrogen bond. Select the base and duplicate it, shift D and enter. Set its X location to 1.4 and its X scale to 0.3 and rename it base large. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan, shift and middle mouse button. Select the bond and duplicate, shift D and enter and set the X location of the duplicate to 1.8. Select the backbone, duplicate, shift D and enter and set the X location of the duplicate to 2. Change the view to the top view. Select the hydrogen bond and set its Y location to 0 0.08. Duplicate Shift D and enter and set the Y location of the duplicate to minus 0 0.08. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Click the material button. Drag to make the window wider. Click the browse material button and we see there is one material called material that is linked to all the cubes. Call the material bond and drag on the intensity to make it brighter. Because there are two hydrogen bonds, the bigger base must contribute a letter A to the code sequence and the smaller base must contribute a letter T to the code sequence. With the smaller base selected, click the add new material button and name the new material base T, click the diffuse color and set the red to zero, the green to zero and the blue to one. Select the bigger base, click the add new material button, call the new material base A, click the diffuse color Set the red to 1 and the green and the blue to 0. Select the backbone, click the add new material button, call the new material sequence 2, 
Click the diffuse color and set the red to one, the green to one, and the blue to zero. Click the other backbone, click the browse material button, select sequence two, click the add new material button, and edit the name so that it becomes sequence one. Click the diffuse color and drag to make the green zero. Change the view to the front view, select all by type mesh, press G to grab, X for the X direction, minus one and enter, and view selected. This is one of four different base pairs. I'm going to store each base pair in a separate layer. Press M to move the selected to a layer and select the second layer. Select the second layer, duplicate, shift D and enter, press M and move the duplicate to the third layer. Select the third layer, duplicate, shift D and enter, press M and move the duplicate to the fourth layer. In the third layer, Swap the bases around, select the smaller base, click Object Properties and delete the minus sign from its X location. Select the larger base and add a minus sign to its X location. Click the button to hide the blue and red arrows. Select the hydrogen bond and delete the minus sign from its X location. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Select the other hydrogen bond and delete the minus sign from its X location. Now in the second and third layers, we have the same two bases, but the order is swapped. Select the fourth layer, select the hydrogen bond and set the Y location to 0.12. Select the other hydrogen bond and set its Y location to minus 0.12. Duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter and set the Y location of the duplicate to zero. Select the smaller base, click the material button, click the browse material button, select sequence two Click the Add New Material button and name the new material Base C. Select the larger base, click the Add New Material button, call the new material Base G. Click the Diffuse color and set the red value to zero and the green value to one. Select all by type, mesh, duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter, press M and move the duplicate to the fifth layer. The green base adds a letter G to the code sequence stored on the red backbone. We need to make a version where the bases are swapped around. Select the fifth layer Select the smaller base, click the object properties, and as before, delete the minus sign. Select the larger base and add a minus sign. And select the hydrogen bonds and delete the minus signs. Press A twice to select all, click join, make sure the 3D cursor is in the center to make sure in the object menu, snap, cursor to center. In the object menu, transform, origin to 3D cursor, and name the joined object, BP base pair GC. Click the fourth layer, 
select any object, press A twice to select all, click join. In the object menu, transform origin to 3D cursor and name the joined object BPCG. Click the third layer, select any object, press A twice to select all, click join. In the object menu, transform origin to 3D cursor and name the joined object BPAT. Select the second layer, select any object, press A twice, click join. In the object menu, transform origin to 3D cursor and name the joined object BPTA. We now have all four base pairs, each one stored in its own layer.